All right. We will start the live stream very soon. So I'm just waiting for people to show up. Hold on a second, I'll be right back. Hello, on something one. Oh, thank you very much. All right, so far we got three people. Yeah, I didn't make no big announcement mm -hmm. about this upcoming live stream, but I just want to tell the world that I have a live stream today. And I think I talked about it on my live stream from last night.
I'm just doing some last minute stuff before we get started. Let's see who's willing to join in. As you know, today live stream is episode four of my support these channels and platforms or support these platforms and channels or whatever you want to call it. I want to see who else is here though. So far it's only you I know so far. We got only two viewers. Well, I think one of them is because I have, I do watches on around that air thing. And I'm just trying to do some invites. I'm gonna wait till more people show up before we get started. And later on at the end, whatever y'all miss, I'll have on the links, um, the links to every channel, platform, or channel, uh, any social media user, YouTuber, Black Junction user, whatever. I'll have a links to them on the description box and comment section for people who end up watching the, um, the replay or slash playback or something. Just eating a little snack and some drinking some water. It helps me. I want to see if I can get some extra people to come on in and watch my live stream. All right, just doing some last minute stuff, then we'll get started. I'm not, oh, hey, Kaiman, what's up? I'm glad you were at, um, glad you were at last night's, um, um, live stream in the chat room it was good that you was able to come around. We got a lot of, um, we're going to be doing where we talk about people's platforms and stuff. I'm just doing some last minute stuff before we get started. I thought I would have it done by now. See if anyone wants to come over.
computers loading up real quick. Um, then we'll get started. All right. I guess we can get started now. If people will come, they will come so far. If we'll just have to do uh, what we get now. All right. So you're probably wondering what we're going to talk about. If you look at the uh, the title, it will be called Support These Channels and Platforms Number 4. Um, what I'm about to do right now is going to share you my screen real quick to basically so you can understand what I'm talking about. All right, what you see right here, um, I talk about different platforms. I'm just going to see if y'all are looking at what I'm looking at. All right, all right, we got some viewers, new viewers now just coming in. I'm just trying to see who decided to come on in. Ah, crew, you're here. Uh, you know what? You're just in time. Um, we're going to talk about people's channels and why you should support them. And then later on, I, I usually, what I do is I show someone's channel. Then I show maybe like one of their videos or just a sample of it. And then I'll put a link in the comment section. Well, I mean the chat room to subscribe. And then also when the live stream ends, I'll put down their links. And then people who may have missed something can come on into the play. Um, hey, Lady of Soul, what's up? Let me mod you real quick. You've been modded, Lady of Soul 502. Yeah. So, crew, I'm glad you're here because, because we're going to be talking about people's channels. Yours is going to be one of the channels I talk about. So... I do this is because I promote other people's chat. I, I know you hear if you watch Gab Talk Media, he talks about what I've been doing. Um, I promote, I talk about people's channels, show a video, and then I put a link in the comment section in the chat room. Or, and then when the live stream ends, I'll put their links to their chat to their live stream to their channels. In the comment section or description box or both, so if people come in and watch the plate replay it or or um, upload it to another platform, they can also look look at it and click on that link there and check out the channels. I do this because I want to help other people grow their platforms just as much as I want to grow mine. I figure. If we all grow our platforms together, we have a better chance of rebuilding and bringing a connection to our entire black, um, community, what happens to be the black community. So since you're here, Mr. Crew, we're going to do your channel first. Is that okay with you, if you're still here? And since you're here, Maybe you get to decide to pick on the best video that you may be interested. However, if it's too long, we can only play a little bit of it, and um, we can. And you could also pick where would be the best part in the video that has the juicy content that would convince people to say, "I want to subscribe right now." And then I'll put in the link, and then you can open another tab and subscribe to the channel there. 
use my recent upload only two minutes okay we will do that now first thing is i got to uh find where you are because i have a lot of uh, okay here But I'm glad you're here, crew. So, because you're here, you make it easier. So, uh, let's see, crew, crew. Oh, here you are. All right. So, like he said, we're going to do his recent upload. Um, all right. Oh, okay. I see it now. All right. Um, all right. Oh, good. And the audio is up, so that's going to help. All right, now I'm about to start it. What's it that teach our boys and girls when we throw away our dollars trying to change just like we don't have sense? Our self worth based on how much we spend. So we gotta have the best and don't care if we can't afford. That's why we're stuck paying rent instead of a mortgage. Tell me what kind of beach how our children face it. When we spend more on how we look at everything, the situation's critical. I'm not trying to be a limit to you, but the example is set to be beautiful. We had a point of giving. Let's focus on the future, not the present. The negative people give up in the future. That's all y'all get for right now. It's still in the in the mixing process, editing process, but it's gonna be out to y'all so Shout out to the crew, Culture Revolution Underground. You got to change their minds to change the culture. Peace. All right. Thank you, crew. Thank you very much. Um, maybe you could talk more about it. I'm about to, what I'm about to do next is I'm about to um, let you come on in. I guess I'm, I didn't think I was going to do a panel, but you know what? I think I want to hear more about you, um, more about your channel from you. So what I'm going to do right now is um, I'm going to give you an email real quick, or just go to your um, your thing on Google Hangout. Um, I mean that was that was actually amazing what we just saw. So let me find your name. Name somewhere here. Hold on. Be easier to start. Okay. 
coo, coo, coo. Oh, here you are. Um, just go into Google Hangout website. Um, you should see a link if you want to come on in. Sometimes another thing I do is I talk to other people to see what they think about um, certain channels and stuff. Um, and um, uh, and I'm also you can also find it in your email right about now. So you know, so we can hear it talk. Maybe sometimes I like to hear from the actual people so they can talk more about their channels, and um, so people it will make it makes it more easier for people to subscribe when they hear it from the actual people who have that channel. But anyway, um, the next thing I'm about to do is, is I'm about to put in a link to the channel for, um, hold on, that's just only for that particular video. I'm gonna go back to his, his main page of his channel. I'm gonna copy the link and I'm about to put it into the chat room right about now. All right. Um, yeah, I hate when you open too many thi of these things and you can't find where you need to find. Yeah. Uh, hold on. Great. Uh, oh, you know what? I'll put it right here. Okay. All right. Y'all should see right now there should be a link to his channel, to Cruz channel. Um, if you're not a subscriber to his channel, y'all right. should see right now there should be a link. Hey, what's up, crew? Oh, you might want to mute the uh, your side of YouTube. Don't mute the up. Uh, yeah. Okay, that's that's a lot better. Okay, yeah, I'm here. All right. So since it's your channel, I want to hear more about your channel, but from you. So tell us about your channel and how do you feel about me um helping you get some subscribers? Um as for you, I, I it's much love, man. I appreciate it. <clears throat> um, my channel, like I said, I'm trying to like, like Bill Scott Heron said, you got to change their minds to change change the culture. You can't change anything without first changing their minds. There is no revolution. The first revolution is in the mind. Yeah. So you you got to do that first. So like. I want to. I want people to think outside of the box. Like Jason Black said, it's the new black media. So we have to we have to have people thinking outside of the box. Yep, you got that right. And I'm glad that I'm able to help you get some. Hopefully, you'll get some new subscribers after this. Uh, Keisha Washington, how you doing? Uh, I just modded you because I think I've seen you and several other YouTubers. You get make some good comments in the chat room. And that alone deserves a mod, just because I've seen you in past live streams. So you've just earned yourself a mod immediately. People, um, so remember, your job is to help protect the website. I mean, help my protect the channel from any trolls. So, crew, um, I guess if you don't know, or I... This is actually video number four of support these platforms and channels. I actually have three other videos where I talk about other people's channels. I've done it on Gab Talk Media. Uh, one of my videos, I talk about Gab Talk Media and Nicole Ali, who you, um, of course, you, Nicole Ali, we talked, uh, we talked with last night. Um, Gab Talk Media. Uh, one video I talked about Lisa Cabrera and Terrain Rain's channel. Uh, one video I talked about Ashley W. and Niall says and Paris Miller. 
and um, Richard X of Wake Wake Up the Black Nation. I talk about a lot of different people, and it's because we need to grow each other's platforms to cr truly create uh, um, a strong black media. I I, I agree with you. Um, we. I mean, this has to be like a, a, a circle of friends, a circle of support, because we're all on the same uh, page is black liberation, black empowerment. And the only way to do that is to empower each other. That is correct. All right. Uh, like I said before, uh, I just shared um, the link to his channel is in the um, comment section. Um, later on, I will when the when the live stream is over i'll have all the channels that we talked about so y'all can watch the playback and stuff or or just come in just so you can find those links and subscribe to these um to him and other people's and even myself's um platforms um yes we're trying to do whatever it takes to grow our platforms and to help each other out all right now that we've done with you um I don't want to say done with you like like we're trying to get rid of you, but now that we've got through your video um your channel, we're gonna about to do someone else. So here's let's see, who should we do next? Hmm. And crew, sometimes I also ask if you people have someone in mind. Uh, right now, I'm looking at someone in mind right now. Um, and I'm about to, sh um, do you know this individual right here that I'm about to show? His name is Lion's Den. I've heard of him. I haven't watched too many of his videos yet, but I'm going to check him out. All right. Well, to give you a sneak peek, here is, so basically... Um, I guess this is his his video. Um, he got several videos, and some of them are topics we kind of already know. So we'll just pick one, just to pick one. All right, here's we'll just do this one right here. Oh boy. Good morning, everybody. Uh, I know it's early, but um, I decided to do this early live stream. See what everybody's doing. How's everybody right now? Um, talking about the um. I missed the information man live stream last night. I've been doing a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff behind the scenes going on. Um, so, um, this is for the first time I've ever been on a live stream since, you know, the drama that happened. <laughs> Sorry about that, it's got a phone call. But um, yeah, this is, this, this is for the first time I've ever been on a live stream since, the, you know, the drama that happened um lately um hey what's good j-dog um i'll get with you later about um, um about the video but just, i'm just letting everybody else know uh i'm going to be on the information man show tonight um interview on be conscious um beat my from the conscious channel i will definitely will be there tonight um and we're going to talk about some major major issues and this is going to be it's going to be amazing um, I got, like I said, I got a lot of stuff to do, to do but I just want to make, let everybody else clear, um, uh, that, you know, for people that's concerned, you know, family members that is concerned about my safety, people talking about, oh, are we just concerned about the safety? As you can see, I am alive and well. I'm just letting everybody else know I am alive and well, um, there's some, there's some things that I have to do that is important for me right now. And that's all I'm going to say for the people 
that's concerned that you see me on the live and well i'm very healthy very happy um trying to get my to, trying to get my life together um my personal life you know has changed a little bit you know i basically for those of you and normally i'm not going to talk about my personal life but it, it is i want people to understand how important my personal life is how important together in, in in the bottom of my heart that you know people trying to tell you what you can and can't do so i want you guys to do get the, get the likes up as well i want all of us in the likes up because i know this is this is, a, this is the morning version of lions again um because i'm not going to have time to do a live stream this evening i'm going to do a live stream with information man um at 10 o'clock my time, 10 o'clock East Coast time and um, 7 o'clock West Coast time. We're going to do a live stream together, interviewing B Miles of the Conscious Channel. Uh, the brother's heavy. I like his I like his channel. The guy is real. And he is from b -more. He's from Baltimore. He's like no later than 30, 30 miles outside of where I am right now. So the guy is kind of heavy. And so I want people to check it out. And for the people that's, you know, that's on my channel, please go on the Information Man show tonight. Because I want all of you guys, you know, because I'm definitely going to, I'm definitely going to be there. Um, I'm definitely going to be there as a co-host as usual. Um, so I will, I mean, and then before I continue this live stream, I want to thank each and every one of you guys for your love, support, and prayers. Um, throughout throughout the ordeal, I've been through a lot um, on my private personal life. I've been through a ton of life and um, trying to get my life together. And, you know, again, I'm working on it now. So, um, and for some of you, um, I got married. I'm letting you know. <laughs> I'm just going to tell you off the bat, I got, I got married about a week ago. So I am officially off the market. <laughs> I'm officially off the market, and I'm officially a married man. So, um, so I'm very happy. You know, you know, like I said, lots of things change. Um, my personal life, of course, and I'm very happy with my personal life. So, again, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just very appreciative, and um, thanks, J Dog, and grateful and blessed. Thank you and welcome to my live stream, early bird live stream that Lion's Den is doing right now. And so, you know, that that's mainly the reason why you haven't heard or seen me on social media for a while. I've been working behind the scenes. I've been trying to make some plans, do some things behind the scenes. I didn't get a chance to be on social media that much. I'm not, I mean, I'm not, I was, um, normally I'll be on Facebook. I wasn't on Facebook that much. I wasn't be on Instagram that much, Snapchat, um, Twitter. I tweet sometimes, you know, I tweet sometimes to let people know that I'm okay. I'm alive. See, see my face. So, um, so like I said, it's, it's, it's a work in progress for me. It's a work in progress and I'm getting to it. Um, just because I have, Things going on in my personal life doesn't necessarily mean that I'm going to stop doing my my do, doing my things with my boy Info. That's my passion. That's my heart. I love what I do. I love doing what I do. I love still doing news and commentary. As you know, I'm still doing that. So all this stuff is I'm still doing my thing. I'm still keeping it moving. And so I want people to understand this: that you know, just because you have a problem with your personal life doesn't necessarily mean you can't stop doing what you're really doing. And I'm getting, that's an advice for you. Um, so, you know, my again, my life has changed completely. And, and I want a lot of people to understand that, you know, just keep on fighting, keep on striving. I mean, keep doing what you're doing best. Um, I'm very excited to interview b Mile or of, of the of the conscious channel you know he's from he's from my turf i mean he's from baltimore he's like 30 miles outside of me but i'm gonna i'm gonna interview the brother myself as, as well as info we're both gonna be interviewing this brother um tonight 
So I'm very happy and I'm very excited to interview with his brother and get to, get to know him a little bit better. Um, and uh, like I said, it's it's going to be a work in progress. And and, I, and like I told you guys before, you know, the things sometimes things are happening, but it happening for you for the good. So with that being said, guys, um, I, I'm very, you know, me, me and person like like the last time I was on the live stream, I'm very, very conscious of my fellow YouTubers. I expect for people who supported Info my Info Man, Info Man and myself, um, and I that's that's love for you. And I know a lot of people who just waking up, and I know a lot of people are probably going to watch, you know, the archives of this live stream. But just to let just to let people know that I'm all right, I'm okay. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm the people are concerned about my safety. My I'm in danger, in danger. Um. I'm really serious though. That I'm fine. I'm okay. I'm healthy. I'm strong. I'm happy. I'm keeping it moving every day. I'm smiling. I'm smiling every day. I'm just. I'm just happy because the thing of it is that things change over. Things change in your life by a blink of an eye. They do, and you have to remember that you have got to believe in yourself. You got to believe in 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 TMI. But some say TMI, the most high, some say God, and Islam, some say Allah. But I believe that, you know, I believe in my mind and my heart that, you know, I, I'm going to be okay. Um, no, I don't think nobody's going to mess with me. I hope not. I might do some Qigong and, and Tai Chi on their butts. What? <laughs> I'm just playing, guys. But I've been in the D.C. area really most of my life so it ain't like i'm be in danger but i can handle situations you know I'm, I'm i'm the type of person that can handle situations that people can't handle and i'm a lion i'm a survivor so the thing of it is is that yeah i'm i, I my personal life is 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 um is very very awesome very uh, it's lit some people in the younger generation say it is lit. My personal life is lit right now. So even though I'm going through things personally, but I am going through some. I am going through something in a positive way as well. So I'm not going to let that get me down. I, I got a lot of positive things happening to me right now. I'm very excited about. Uh, Information Man and myself are working on a project that's going to be spectacular. So I'm keeping it moving, guys. I'm keeping it in in in, um, in the right direction. Let's put it like that. I'm going in the right direction, and just let everybody know on social media that Lions Den is alive, and I'm roaring as usual. <laughs> so, you know, I'm very happy. You know, it's it's been a long journey. It's been a long road, but you know, I'm glad that. Um, that I'm here, and I want you guys to understand that um, that I'm keep going to be here. But uh, before I go, um, I'm, like I said, I'm reminding you guys to check us out tonight um, on Information Man Show. I will be there. That's never going to change. Information Man and I are still rocking, still rolling, and we're going to interview B Mile of the Content Channel on YouTube um, from my neck of the woods. You know from the DMV and be more area. And um, I want you guys to realize that, you know, this brother is for real. This brother is going to, this brother's going to bring it like he always bring it. And I want you guys to basically listen to what he says, because he's going to bring some knowledge to the, to the, to the show. But um, with that being said, guys, let me get out of here. Um, and I'll see you guys tonight. I love y'all. Take care. Hope you have a great Friday or a great Labor Day weekend. And I'll see you guys tonight on the Information Man show. We're going to stop for there. So, uh, Underrated Darkness, I'm seeing you're here on the panel. How you doing?
I think he just hopped off real quick. He in the chat though. Oh, okay. Um, yes, but what about you? Um, what do you think about Mr. Um, Lions Den? I don't know his real name. Oh yeah, Lions Den. He 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 about he about that business, you know. Yes. I'm looking at the titles of his videos and whatnot. So I mean, it looked like you know he's on point with what he's talking about. I'm gonna check him out though. All right. Um, and just in case, if you want to head over to his channel real quick to subscribe to him, I'm about to send you a link to his channel right about now. So um, here's the link. So for anyone who's not yet subscribed, I just put in a link just now. There's the link. And... Um, um, yeah, there's the link to um, check out his channel. Oh, hey, Underrated Darkness. How's it going? All right, what's good? So what do you think about Mr. Lion's Den? I'm about to click off his screen real quick. What do y'all think about him? I'm glad the, dude, I'm glad the brother's all right. That's it. Glad the brother's all right. All right. Um, and also, I just put in a link, so if you want to go to his channel real quick and subscribe to him and hit that notification, that'll be good as well. He has, I think, a Black Spot channel, but I cannot find it. So maybe on the next episodes of Support These Platforms and Channels, I probably might talk about his live stream channel. But yeah, he was talking about when he was about to join Info Man and B Miles. Um, now that was an old video. Hit that live stream he was talking about that already happened. So I didn't, I didn't really play one of his recent videos. But um, still, he talks about some good stuff. So now we're about to move on to our next individual. All right. Um, I have been talking about, uh, I think in my very first video, I talked about Naya Says. Um, if I think it's either one or two, support these platforms one or support these platforms two. I talked about Naya Says um, cha channel. Now, she hasn't put any content yet on these channels I'm about to show of hers, but she does have some a uh, few new channels. This is one of them right here. So because yet she has no content, we can't really put play any videos of her. But what I'm about to do is I'm going to go to each channel and... I don't know much more. Um, you will have to talk to her. That's why I was trying to invite her to come to today's live stream. Um, this one, I guess, is Nala's Nostalgia. I bet you it's going to be basically her past videos or something. I'm not sure, like I said. But she does deserve people. So I'm going to put in a link. Um, there should be four links. One of them is, um, of course, Lion's Dens. Oh, thank you, crew. Thank you. That helps, too. I'm already subscribed to this. This is her main channel. I'm already subscribed to this channel. But this, I'm showing channels that she also made. She's made some new ones. So that one's called, um, the one I'm just showing now is called Niles Nostalgia. So now I'm about to give you, uh, show you another one of her channels. Um, this one's called Niles L News. Um,
So about to put that link there. Look at all the different links that are going to come in. I haven't really titled the links because, you know, that's going to take a little bit of time. But um, they uh, just go to different links. And if you're, but I mean, if you're not subscribed to Nias's, um main channel, just click on the link that Crew just shared and um, you'll be able to try to subscribe to her channel. And our, the final one I'm going to put a link to is this one right here. This one is Naya's Notes. So let's help Miss Naya um, have a lot more subscriber in all her channels and stuff. Uh, that way we can help grow her. Sometimes if you have multiple people, that also helps grows, you know, your um, your viewership, even if you're using multiple channels. So there should be four, a bunch of links. Um, one is Lions Den because they're kind of, um, and then four should belong to Nile to four different channels created by Nile. Nile says, including her main channel. So hopefully y'all can go over there real quick. I think the next time I'm probably going to try fast enough to um, put in the name of the channel so um, you'll know what, what channels they are, the links, what channels they are. So what do you think about now says um, doing all these channels, by the way, though, um, Mr. Crew? It's it's a it's a much needed necessity because you know how they try to pull down all our channels and whatnot. So it's just like uh, Jason Black, he goes from the Black Authority to TBA to Black Channel to the Black Channel Films and all of that, and he'll tweet out which one he's gonna uh, which one he's gonna put his broadcast on because look, if they got you down for a month on one channel, you can't stop making the content, so you gotta go to the other channel. You got that right. She also has a Twitter, but usually she, she promotes her own Twitter or Facebook or Instagram. I'm subscribed to those too. But you know, I can't I can't do a whole bunch of stuff. But if I do have time on other videos, I might help her promote it or stuff. And if she wants it, but yeah. So later on in the playback. I'll put in the links um, so for people who end up watching the replay or decides to come back just to subscribe to those people, um, they can do that. Um, so next, um, let's talk about another person. Who to talk about next? No. Hold on. Yeah, this next um oh I think I know who I definitely want to talk about next. Um as soon as I find this ah here he is. Yes, I know you know who this person is. Um I was trying to invite him to watch to this this live stream. Um, hopefully he gets my email or something, but here he is. This is the infamous KD84. Uh, I think one time he said that um, I have a channel too, so I came, took a look, and here it is. This is KD84's channel. So... Um, I'm going to see who's here right now. And yes, yes, Keisha. Uh, about Niall says, yeah, they YouTube um, is, is uh, yeah, keeps kind of, I, I think I talked to Niall saying, I'm, I'm hoping she goes over to Black Spot TV and Black Junction TV. That's where we all really need to go. Sorry, I was a little hungry. But anyway, here's KD. So we're going to pick. Let's see. What's 
be the perfect video of KD. All right. Let's see. What will be the perfect one? Oh, here's one right here. Let's get started. What's up, bro, family? Your boy, KD84, man. Coming back at y'all one more game with a late rent. And um, I'm laying out the reason of um, why I'm done with the uh, man-made conscious movement. I'm just here to make my little announcement right now. I'm not going to fight shoulder to shoulder with most of these swirl niggas, man. Yeah, I said like that, swirl niggas. Majority of these swirl niggas, all they want to do around this bitch is shit on sisters and fuck Becky. And I'm going tell you right now, man, KE is not down with that shit at all. But niggas, but these swirl niggas swear up and down. They the most conscious niggas around. Swear up and down this motherfucker. That they the most conscious niggas around. Ain't shit conscious about shitting on sisters. And ain't shit conscious about fucking a Becky in a time of war. But most of these swirl niggas swear up and down that they ready for war. But they went through half a shit in their motherfucking life. But swear up and down, they tough as nails and they ready for a war. You ain't ready for shit for Becky's pussy, nigga. Because all you want out this war, I'm going to tell what these, most of these swore niggas rewards is. They want Becky's pussy for the sister's forgiveness. They want sister's to to forgive them forever and keep going back to Becky. These are the same, some of the same swirl niggas that sneak this and put up videos talking about how the sister is gone and shit, but won't talk to them. And when they try to approach you and point something out, you go ahead and call her a bitch. You won't say that to a fucking Becky, though. Oh, yeah, yeah. Your, your, your approach changes after you see a Becky, though. Rather settle for lice infested cold pussy. But swear up and down, you're the most conscious nigga alive. That's why I can't stand you swirl niggas. You swirl niggas make me sick. I rebuke your pussy ass. I'm not staying no fucking shoulder to shoulder with you, fighting a fucking war. Swearing up and down, they ready for a war shit. But you slobbing all over a Becky and shitting on sisters at the same time, nigga. Swearing up and down that our sisters are out of order when it's really your bitch ass, nigga. You swirl, you swirl, nigga. It's you swirling, it's you swirl niggas that's out of fucking order. You straight up bitch made. And no, I ain't, I ain't fighting no motherfucking war with a swirl nigga. You swirl niggas is done for. And when the most hot comes slay your ass, I'm not going to feel shit for you. Shout out to all the real niggas that love sisters no matter what. And look forward to working with them. Shout out to the real niggas who understand that this is war and take this shit seriously unlike a bitch ass swirl nigga. Shout out to the royal family. This is uh just this is just a rant before I head to the plantation. I'll see y'all later, man. One love. Out. All right, that was Mr. KD. So I'm going to go to his main page, and I'm going to give you a link to his channel for anyone who is not a subscriber. So 
Mr. Crew. Um, let me give a link here. Uh, this time I'm going to actually put his name. All right. All right. And there's the link. Hey, you know KD be snapping. He he be on on your live snapping. Yep, I know, but he's speaking some truth. Well, all you get what I mean. All right. Um, like I said, the link should to his channel, and also later on, um, uh, when I um when the do a little editing on the playback. I'll put it in the description box and comment section after the end of this live stream and um, all the channels that we talk about today. But yes, that is from KD. All right, um, crew, um, I'm about to click off real quick. I'm about to put, in, put another person. Uh, do you know anyone named Terrain Rain? Oh yeah, Torian. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, I got on him because uh, Jason Black shouted him out with uh, uh, Harvey Superboy and all of them. Torian, he been dropping videos consistently for the longest. Yes, he he in the Angry Man Nation and all of that. Tor Torian is is that business. Yes. Well, now I think I know what I'm about to do next. Um, as soon as I can find it, I'm going to show you some stuff. You know he has more than one channel um, on this platform, and I'm about to show one of them right now. Um, that's not it. No, that's your channel. Um, all right, here here's one of his channels. I'm going to show him a YouTube channel, um, and a, then a live stream channel. I mean, I mean, then a black Black Junction channel. So that's why I brought him up. I talked about his channel on my episode on episode three, which is support these platforms and channels number three. You can check that video out on my list of lives uh, on my um. Of course, this this is my live stream channel. You can check out all my previous live streams on this channel anytime you want. So now this is his latest is um his live stream channel he has a live stream channel called rain and real time this is his live stream channel now you can see i'm subscribed to his main channel this is his main channel right here matter of fact i'm gonna go to his ch main channel real quick so i'm gonna click on the link and put it in for anyone who is not su surprisingly still not subscribed to his main channel um hopefully a lot of people are because he does have like thousands of subscribers so now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go back and we're going to um basically if you see i uh, hit set reminder reminder on he gets an upcoming live stream at 1 p.m tomorrow uh, it's his anti-NFL show week one. As you know, he is a huge supporter of boycotting the NFL. So on this particular live stream channel, what you see the title anti-NFL show is he's trying to get many viewers distracted so that these viewers do not go watch any NFL games. So he is basically trying to use this platform to get many people away from their TVs, away from the NFL, and just be, be busy, just basically watch his stuff instead. Now, of course, his live streams are real long, and they could random activities could happen. <sighs> so... I'm just going to do is since I'm on the main page, I'm just going to click on the link. Um, first, well, first thing I'm going to do is this. I'm going to click on um, copy his title real quick. Put it on here. 
Next, I'm going to do is click on the URL, copy that, and then what you're about to see right now is I'm going to, uh, the link to his channel will be near the name of the channel right here, which is Rain and Time. I just put the link in right now, so anyone who is not subscribed, to his live stream channel, just click on the live stream channel, the link, and you know, you can also right click and open an extra tab so you can still watch this video and try to subscribe to his channel at the same time. Y'all can do it right now. I'll give y'all, if you still see any links to any of the channels, I'll give y'all a few seconds, a few minutes to go to those channels now and subscribe to them before we can continue on. Um, but crew, what do you think about Terrain Rain doing a live stream channel? Matter of fact, he was one of the reasons why I decided the idea that I should separate my main channel, my main channel activities from my live stream activities. So by creating a live stream channel, what do you think about that, um, crew? Yeah, I, it got me thinking about doing the same thing because you know your live stream might get you some strikes. You know, you play some music or something like that, and uh, you know whatever you're talking about. But you got the live channel, but then your regular channel is still good. You know, so you can go live on your regular channel still, even if the other one gets some strikes or whatever. That is good. Also, if your main channel gets strike, you can't do live streams on. So. You create a live stream channel to just only focus on doing live streams. It's all the same. Still, back up, back up, back up. You, always, you know what I mean? Like days old, back up off me. Back up, back up, back up. <laughs> yep. All right. So the next thing I'm about to do... Um, I am about to show this. One of the things we talk about is other platforms. We talk about Black Junction and Black Spot. Well, Terrain Rain has a black called Terrain Rain. He had this is his um, Black Junction TV cha um, um, channel called definitely titled Terrain Rain. So, basically, you can come over here, and here you can watch the stuff that he will not post on YouTube, because you know if he posts it, then YouTube is going to come and try to block his channel. So, right now, what you and that's why I'm not even going to play any videos, because I might end up playing a video he may not want it to have been played on YouTube because you know it could cause strikes and this is just the example that we can't always depend on YouTube we're going to have to start depending on other platforms including black owned platforms like black spot tv and black junction tv and blackspot.com and blackjunction.com blackspot.com and blackjunction.com are like the facebook styles of the Black Spot and Black Junction organizations, um, as you know, this is see, this is this is Black Spot Black Junction's second website, which is Black Junction TV. Their first website was BlackJunction.com, still running, and that's their Facebook style website. But now back to this. Um, hold on. There's here's the link. So and also if you're not don't have an account for Black Junction TV, this could be your opportunity right now to uh, see Black Junction TV. You know, it's time we start investing in our own platforms or platforms that are gonna cater to us more than YouTube. So what do you think about that, crew? 
they need to um they need to get their live streaming up and then <laughs> i them that, that reminds me i need to go donate to them too so they can help that because they say they can live stream but they need the inter infrastructure you know because it, it takes a lot of power to uh to do live streaming and power like that can also take a lot of money that's why in some videos and i might start doing this more and maybe future videos that we need to also go e um either set up that you'll be donating five dollars um or set up the premium so you you'll pay the like money to do premium stuff and that helps give them money and then also if but if you don't want to do that but every now and then you want to donate that's why they have the gofundme page yes yes kaiman black spot does have live streaming um i'm surprised we haven't used their black um their um their streaming yet but be that's also because you know one thing that both black spot and black junction needs now is a a stronger notification system they need that because you know that's where you can get better notifications through email or like you can get notifications like on your phones and stuff like that the way youtube does it so if you use the apps and stuff you like do you want this phone to follow blah 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 and stuff so hopefully better style of notification will be good but hopefully but yeah, now Black Junction, they do now Black Junction TV, they do need the live. They are trying to set up live stream. But yes, we can go. We need to go to their GoFundMe page to do that. Um, matter of fact, I'm gonna click off to Rain Rains. Everyone, go to those. Make sure y'all go into those links and subscribe to those channels if you're not a subscriber. I'm gonna I know this is gonna be a little off topic, but I think it's worth talking about. This right here, I've donated some money recently. By the way, that's me right there. Um, hold on, that's me right there under my real name. But you see, this is what they're trying to reach and this is what they have so far from the GoFundMe. But so every now, if you can donate to their GoFundMe page, I'll even put in the link so, to ch so you all can take a look. And then also what you should do is share this uh, link, share this GoFundMe page. Um, yeah. Uh, share this GoFundMe page. I'm going to click off real quick. Yeah. Yeah. Um, all right. There's the link. Um, hold on. Lady of Soul 52. Uh, who's Hank Thrasher? This elder is on point. Hold on. Let me look at this. I never really heard of this person, but thank you, Lady of Soul. Yo, crew, Lady of Soul just introduced us to someone new. 
Now I'm going to use all my channels with quick to subscribe to this person. Um, I'm about to yeah, show you. I'm going to check it out. Yeah. But yeah, the GoFundMe page. Uh, you, um, yeah, everyone, there's a link to the GoFundMe page to, um, to, uh, uh, um, Black Junction TV's, uh, live, um, GoFundMe page. They are fighting to get, um, live stream capability go to um so when you have the chance go to um go to gofundme type type in in the search um black junction go there and then if you can donate some money also make sure you share family members share on any viewers as much as possible so we can spread the the word so that more people we can get more people to go to gofundme and um donate to uh to the um gofundme page so that's all i gotta say that's what i wanted to say right now now back to um this individual that lady of soul is now introduced us to so we're about to go to this individual right now all right so this is hank thrasher so we're going to look at his stuff uh, I'm now just hearing this person. So let's pick a video. We're going to pick this one. This guy has almost thousands of subscribers. So we're going to probably pick this video. Hello, my friends. How are you doing? I hope that all is well in your world. And this day... Uh, was a very, very good day for you. I want to talk for a few minutes, uh, but before I do that, uh, let me establish this proposition. And that proposition is that more white people are dying than there are being born. That's a fact. White people are dying much faster than they are being born. And that is a problem. But believe you me, my friends, the informed white power machine in America are always aware of that fact. They know that the birth rate of white folks is much lower than the death rate of white folks. They also know that the mortality rate of white folks have been increasing for the past four decades. There are many reasons for this decline, my brothers and sisters. But let me say that if you go abroad and start looking at the population of countries like, like uh, Germany, countries like Sweden, countries like Denmark, countries like England, you will find that their birth rate is much lower than the death rate in those countries also. And it has been declining about 1.2%. Declining about 1.2%. Percent. 
per year. That is the birth rate of white folks in these countries. And the death rate have been increasing much higher than 1.2% per year. Do you know that because white folks have recessive genes and because white folks pineal gland do not produce uh, melatonin, they are incapable of producing melanin in their bodies. Melanin have a tremendous impact on the fertility of white men. This is why the sun, the sun and its ultraviolet rays and the other spectrum of light that are included or composed in sunlight. These things have a detrimental effect on the fertility of white men. Hence is why, one of the reasons why uh, the sperm count of white men have been on a downward spiral for the last three, four decades. Uh, until, if you look at the facts, as of right now in 2017, the sperm count of a white, typical white man, a white boy in America, and abroad, the sperm count have been reduced about 50% over the last three, four decades. And at that rate, by the year 2060, most, practically all white boys, white men, will be infertile, they will not be able to impregnate, procreate with anyone, anywhere, because the fun count will be extremely low, too low to procreate with anyone. There are other reasons why uh, the, the birth rate of white folks is increasing. Another reason is that too many white people, both men and women, are choosing to live uh, this gay, uh, uh, they are delving into homosexuality. And those people believe that they are destined to love and live their lives with someone of the same sex. Therefore, uh, reproduction and procreation is stymied by that. Also, if you look at Things like, if you look at the LGBT community, then you have to know that over the past 15, 20 years, uh, the LGBT community have increased tremendously. And the overwhelming majority of the LGBTs are white folks. They are not black folks, people of color. They are white folks. And white folks are taught that children are a liability. Hence is why so many white folks decide 
not to have children. They tend to concentrate on their careers, traveling, doing things together, and children would prevent them from doing all of those things that they wish to do. So there's not one single reason why uh, the birth rate of white folks is decreasing every year. There are many reasons. In this video, I have pointed out just a few. But uh, the, what you should get from this video is that white folks are dying. They are being eliminated from this planet at a much higher rate than any other racial group on the planet. And continuation of this rate, this death rate, by the year 2060, by the year 2060, the white racial group will be in serious, serious trouble. They will now be a, an extreme minority in the countries whereby they are a majority right now. It has to do with biology. There's a genetic link to this also. Know that Europeans, white folks, have recessive genes. Know that black folks, people that look like me, have dominant genes. Dominant genes are 10 to 15 times stronger, 10 to 15 times more durable, and it is much easier for people with dominant genes to procreate than it is for people with recessive genes. That's what I have on this one. I welcome your comments. I welcome your critiques. We will talk to you again on another video. Okay, so what do you think, crew? Or anyone who's in the panel? Well, mostly you, crew. Yeah, uh, he, he's giving some information. I, I actually wasn't paying too much attention to it. My bad. But, I, you know what I mean? He was giving some information. I was doing my grocery shopping online. My bad. So well, <laughs> It looks like he said enough. To tell you the truth, he said enough. So, yeah, like he on point. I didn't hear anything that stood out to like, no, I don't agree. Wait, you know. All right. So, Lady of Soul, thank um 502. Thank you for telling us about this individual. Um, And thank you for sending the link to the individual. But just in case, I'm going to send my um the link as well. So I'm going to click off real quick. Let's see. All right. And then in the comment section, um, that's the link. Uh, both me and Lady of Soul have sent separate links to his channel. So if y'all want to go in and check out his channel, um, you can go in and check out his channel. I'll probably have the link to his channel later on. Um, but it's good. I want to see who's here. Oh, Ice. I see. Uh, nice to see you. I think I heard you for the first time. 
um, on, I think, one of Underrated Darkness videos. So if you would like to speak, um, I'll try to find your name either on Go uh, on the Google Hangout or you can um, e give me your email or someone else can give me give me the link um, can um, email you my email so I can give you a link to um, um, join in the panel. The reason why I'm not really putting links to um, in the chat room that will come allow people to come into the panel is because you know we don't want trolls being able to click on those. So I've been giving people links to Google Hangout and through their emails. But that is if you want to come in, um, I see. So, and that's for anyone who will want to come in and uh, join in the panel. Right now, it's just me and crew, but still. And same way with you, Lady of Soul. If you want to come on. Who is this? I would like to check out their content. Um, you're talking about crew? Yeah, uh, his his link should be up there. Or you can go into uh, the GoFundMe link. Yeah, so now uh, I think on video three, I talked about Lisa Cabrera, her YouTube channel, but I couldn't find her um, Black Junction channel. So guess what? I found it. So of course, you uh, who here heard, has heard of Lisa Cabrera? Have you heard of Lisa Cabrera? Um, crew. Uh, I I listen to Lisa at times. She uh drops something. She she be snapping. <laughs> yeah. She be snapping. Um, that's something else. All right. So here is uh the live stream. I mean the Black Junction, the Black Junction TV channel of Lisa Cabrera. I'm going to give a link to it real quick. So basically, some of the stuff on here is stuff that, you know, she's not going to put on YouTube because, you know, we see it on YouTube. Um, um, something's going to happen. But... I will do this. I'm going to give her a link. First, I'm going to put down her name real quick. And then I'm going to put down the link, and then I'm going to send it into the chat room. Um, so this, hold on. This might take a while. Uh, are you, um, Kai, are you subscribed to her Black Junction? Are you subscribed to her YouTube or her Black Junction or both? Are you subscribed to uh, her Black Junction? Uh, something happened. All right. All right, here is the link to her Black Junction page. Uh, her name should be near it. And yes, so, yes, yeah, so if, but this is for anyone who was not um, subscribed to her Black Junction page or whatever there. So, now I'm going to click off real quick while we look for our next individual we're going to talk about um so 
Let's see who is next on this list. Uh, oh, here's someone. Um, probably someone new. Ah, here we're gonna talk about this. Our next individual we're going to talk about is someone new. He's a very, very, very small channel. But let's see if we can help grow it. This is Challenger the Black Leader. So, we're going to pick mostly just a random. I'm not sure if he's still doing videos, but it looks like she is. Um, let's do this one, uh, where he's talking about some kind of book. Okay, so here's part two of Neo Nazi Black Feminist Negro Bandwages. See, they have books and movies about them. And this is the actual website, by the way, that promotes this bullshit. See, this shows black females and white males go outside their race more than white females and black males. See, white males have always went outside their race have, and also have raped black females throughout history and killed them too. You see this? I can do this all day. So that little uh, study they, they showed about white females and black males that go outside the race more, that is a lot. And that study was done by a white female. See, this is history right here. Oh, I'm just getting started. You know, I should show you it on Amazon and Netflix. See? Look at this. Told you black females are not loyal. See this? I can go, I can do this all day. Now, let's see how many uh, books the videos you find about white females and black males. I guarantee you, you will not find the same amount of books and movies dedicated to white females and black males. Then again, you won't find any books about white females and black males. But you find books about white males and black females. So you won't see this right here i have yet found oh look we got much of a m me asian males or bw see see this but i haven't found any books about uh white asian females with um black males i haven't found any books about white females with black males look at this all day all day. See this? 
So people, do a favor, family. Post this on social media. Post this on Twitter. Okay? Do that for me. Instagram, do that for me too. Post, post this for me. So this proves that white males and black females go outside their race more than white females and black males. It's loading. But yeah, I just want to show you this right quick. And if you want to know what some, if you want some more information, check out Netflix and Amazon. You'll find more on there too. There'll be movies that dedicate to this. But yet, uh, they're being killed and lynched. Even white Asian males are killing black females and beating them up and punching them in the face, making them bleed in front of their own people. Well, offspring and people are recording this that's okay okay now that was about it just wanted to show you that that uh that study that, that showed about white females and black males well it's not accurate but this is very accurate i mean look at this 121 122 i mean all day you can just keep going Okay, let's, and these are, I think these are books or movies. Let's show you the books. Let's type in books. There we go, books. Image. Look at this. All day. All day. Fucking sell hours. Told you. Need it. and everybody get mad when we say we need to check the ass. Yeah, you need to get rid of them. You have to get rid of these uh these black females. I think this is all oh, I'm going yeah. to talk about. Um so he's talking about that. Um um So basically, so what do you think about that crew? He's talking about the. Crew, are you on the, on the air? Yeah, I'm still here. My bad. I'm, I'm still shopping. My bad. <laughs> oh, okay. Nah, I'm, I'm subscribing to all these links, though. Oh, so, good. Yeah, and I'm finna subscribe, you know? All right, I'm gonna do a, a another video of his, and um, this one's called "Weak Black Males," and he's talking about how this this person was not gonna help another black person from being attacked. Sorry, we're going for so long. We have some business, but I came across a video. Now, as you can see, white supremacy attacking black men in the store. Now, I want you to watch this video. And I give you my opinions after we get done watching the video. Now, you heard the pussy-ass little boy in the background who didn't want to help out his own brother get his ass whooped by a white spirit. And then he, gonna, he had the nerve to call his sister 
dumbass. Come on. It's not his job to help out. It's their job. See, these are the Negroes we got to get up out of this community. I hate pussies. I'm pretty sure you do. So this is a very big problem we need to deal with. Because apparently, Cookie and Ray Ray can fight other black people, but they won't fight white supremacy. They can see another black person getting jumped by white supremacy, or as I would say, a racist white male, but do absolutely nothing. So I want you to watch this video one more time and listen to this pussy ass little boy. You hear him? He called her a bitch. He didn't call her a dumbass. Really? But I guarantee you, if a white spirit's on his ass, he wants somebody to help him out. So treat these Negro, treat these Negro bad women and these coons the same as that way they treat their own people. And we gotta get rid of all these coons. Like I said, I hate weak black people, especially weak black males. I hate him. Look at him. He didn't want to jump in. It wasn't me. I was there and beat the hell out of his ass. Oh no, we don't want to do that. No, we don't we don't want to help out. You know, um, it's not our job to help out. But at the same time, you being if you was in the same position, you want someone to help your ass out. So I'm gonna leave my so everybody all my information is in my Subscription. Oh shit! This now this is my first time recording in a long time, so I know I'm gonna do a rest. But I get back to you. All right, love you, black people. All right, crew, what do you think about that? I mean, he dropped he dropping some content. Yep. So now the next thing I'm about to do is this. All right. I just put in a new link and all. Um, well, I haven't put the link in yet, but there's one more thing I want to do real quick. Well, I'll just put his name right here, but this is Challenger, the Black Leader. So anyone who is not subscribed to him, please subscribe to him. Um, there's the link, so every now and then. And what we're about to do right now is we're going to do one more person, and that will be a wrap. But first, I'm going to click off my screen. And as I get ready to introduce this final individual. All right, here he is. This is Moran Jr. Um, I think he has some association with the Nation of Islam. 
Um, have you heard of this person, Crew? Has anyone in the chat room heard of this person? No, nah, I, I haven't heard of him. All right. Well, we're about to today. Um, so I'm going to show his view. Um, I think the one th um, he gets a lot of interesting videos. I, hmm. All right, let's talk about this one right here. Peace, peace, peace. This is your brother Monroe Jr. So the NFL issues a statement on social justice following Ka Colin Kaepernick just do it ad. And Colin Kaepernick continues per this report by USA Today to loom over the NFL and their handling of player protests. While many could have seen Kaepernick's proverbial banishment from the league as a death blow to his cause, platform and finances, but the opposite occurred as Kaepernick's national and global profile grew the less he played football. His profile has reached a new level after announcing his new deal with Nike, which will see a Kaepernick apparel and shoe line while also having the company donate to Know Your Rights Foundation. The NFL decided to issue its own statement on social justice in the wake of the 30th anniversary Just Do It ad campaign. NFL Vice Executive President of Communications and Public Affairs, Jocelyn Moore, stated the National Football League believes in dialogue, understanding, and unity. We embrace the role and responsibility of everyone involved with this game to promote positive change in our communities. The social justice issue that Colin and other professional athletes have raised deserve our attention and action. While many have taken to social media to express their dismay at the partnership, it's important to know that Nike is in a contractual partnership with the NFL through 2028. Wow. So that's 10 more years, making them the league's exclusive source of jersey and other official team related apparel and the sources USA today and so as you can see the NFL of course they have been working in conjunction with the NFL PA which is the NFL Players Association and they kind of have been going back and forth flip-flopping the NFL saying they're not going to allow protests they they are they aren't you know it's just like a lot of back and forth going on and somebody made a good point like all of these people out here burning jerseys or burning clothes and they was like they burning stuff they already paid for like that really hurts Nike. <laughs> and then somebody was like how about just going and, and donating them shirts uh and clothes to the homeless somebody who really needs it. i was like Man, you know what that's so that's so right you know uh and then somebody else is just talking about white logic how when Kaepernick kneels during the anthem, uh, you know, it equal, it's, it's equivalent to stop protesting at workplace. But when T Tim Tebow takes a knee, no one cares. And then, you know, the black players, they stand for the flag, they're traitors. But when Trump is with Putin, along with the Russians, uh, over the FBI, everything is fine. And... <laughs> players speaking on social issues they put focus it's equivalent to focus on your job but when trump playing golf every week enraged tweeting is perfectly fine and then they was talking about the chicago game members and other gang members uh and then how it's equivalent to all black people including those outside of chicago are dangerous and then white boys commit mass shootings at school, Madden turning his churches and malls, etc. equals a me mental illness.
card. I thought that was pretty interesting uh, how they painted those pictures of those words so eloquently. And um, but yeah, that, that's real, man. You know, uh, we support Colin Kaepernick and all that he stands for. The people uh, should support him because he gave up millions of dollars. He gave up fortune and fame. You know, he gave up a lot of money to stand on principles. And I mean, could we even say half per, half of one percent of the population would do that? How many people? That's really Christ-like. You know, a lot of people talk about the prophets. They talk about Jesus. You know, but he only had twelve disciples. So Cap Colin Kaepernick and his action would have been one of those disciples because he didn't verbally speak truth to power and, and bashing the government and bashing the police and bashing the country. No, he silently protested, right? So he spoke with so much power in his display of protesting that you could see the drip drip we could see the effect by how other players started to do it right then different schools uh different school football teams around the country you uh started to do it then you see different sports uh athletes from around the country start to do it you start to see more and more different ethnicities start to do it right that's what you call trend trend setting that's what you call going down in the annals of history for taking a stand on righteous principles. How could you not love a man like that and say you are a true American citizen, say that you stand for freedom, justice, and equality, and here is a man not against the flag and what it represents, but against those who are supposed to represent the flag, who are in positions of power, who are not... Uh, Dutifully carrying out their assignment, right? Carrying out that which the people are paying them through their tax diet dollars to carry out. So that's what CAP is protesting. Protesting, we must always strive to learn the principle and not be so racialized as a lot of these white supremacists are. They just want something to be mad about and they see a black man. So, what better? person to be mad at than a black face right so that's how a lot of these people function because their lives are miserable their lives are horrible they full of hate they have nothing going for them so you know they want to put on for white supremacy you know but we as 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 black and brown people we are resilient people and we're united we're standing strong against oppression and you know, we're ushering in the kingdom of heaven on earth, white people. So if you have a racist mind, whoever you are, white, black, brown, red, yellow, uh, whatever color you are, if you think because of your skin color alone, that's going to get you into the kingdom of heaven here on earth that we're establishing, you're wrong. It's only our righteousness. No matter what we say we are, who we are, it's our righteousness and our good deeds that will enable us. Our righteousness will sustain us and enable us to make it into a brighter day. This is Brother Monroe Jr. We love Colin Kaepernick. I'm signing off. Peace. All right. So that was morel so what do you think crew what do y'all think in the comment section he, he had a good commentary and you know my thoughts on kaepernick from yesterday though but you know yeah. what i mean he got a good commentary though all right that's good so oh hey august dream you just coming in i i just happened to see your thing that that's why um Hey, August Dream, we talked about a lot of people today. So um, you can come back on the uh, the replay. And plus, um, also later on, I'm going to have um, the links to every person that I talked about today in the description box and comment section, as well as um, 
my link the links to my personal channels and stuff um as well and that will be um later on when the when the stream ends but as for this individual just this the link now and august stream there is other links of other people that you may or may not be subscribed to so check them out and you can subscribe to them if you want to um so i think that's all the people i'm going to talk about um today um i might in the near future i'll probably do uh, another episode called support these platforms and channels number five uh crew i uh, want to thank you um he um crew was one of the people we talked about so also make sure you subscribe to him so i want to hear your final thoughts this is why i click off my screen here Yeah, I appreciate you having me on here. It's a good, uh, it's a good stream sharing these channels and everything because they are with the motorcycles. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's a good stream. Uh, we need to share these channels because uh, the more information we put out there, uh, like 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 we were saying yesterday, is going to counter the narrative that they're putting out, which is all lies. So we got to counter the lies with the truth. That's good. Oh, and crew, you and everyone in the chat room, make sure you check out the other three episodes. Um, number, have you looked at those videos or streams yet? Yeah, I think I was in one of them. Um, I, I'm gonna check out the rest of them though. All right, good, good. They they too have people that you may be interested in. Yeah, so yes, everyone, check. Out, I'm I, I'm also gonna put uh, the link of the other three as well. I think that would be uh, the good thing to do, um, the smart thing to do, and um, yeah. So yeah, um, but like I said, thank you for um, coming into the platform. Make sure y'all share this live stream and also share. Uh, all those ch um, channels and platforms so that people, your friends, family members, fans, uh, other YouTubers, other social media users can go check these channels out so that they can subscribe to them as well. Um, if you are just coming in, but you are about to miss the show, just check out the replay. And you'll be able to, uh, and also I will have, like, once again, all the links in the description box and comment section. I'm going to do that, start doing that right now. They're not on there right now, but I'm going to start putting them there so you can catch the replay. Or if you just want to come back just to get those, subscribe to anyone you may have not subscribed yet. Um, that's good, too. All right. But that's all I have to say for now. Uh, thank you for your t um, your time, and I hope to catch y'all in another live stream. And to peace to everyone. Peace. All right. Thank you.